Hey, it's Ashley Perkins. Welcome back. And if you're new here, welcome to the best place to build income, influence, and impact for your business or brand online. If you've ever uttered the phrase, social media takes so much time, or social media doesn't work for me, or how can I find the time to grow my following plus my business and not go out of my mind and spend all day on my computer and my social platforms? Well, enter Hootsuite. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to set up and effectively use your Hootsuite account to save you time while growing your social networks and followings, plus your business. Make sure you stick around until the end because I've got a bonus content calendar template that will allow you to populate your content and upload it to Hootsuite to save you even more time. So let's get started. Okay, so obviously if you haven't already signed up for a Hootsuite account, you want to do that first and foremost. So you can just go to Hootsuite.com and click sign up. And Hootsuite offers an array of plans, uh, all ranging in affordability, but you can still connect three social networks on a free account, which is what we're going to do right now. So you just enter your details like your name and your email, you create a password too, and you can upload a profile picture, but that's something a little menial and it can be done afterwards. So we're just gonna do the basics when it comes to information and create our account. So you'll instantly be prompted to start connecting your social networks, but you can also just do that directly from the dashboard. And again, you can see here that we're being prompted to either connect social accounts or start scheduling content, but we're gonna do this on our own. And one of the reasons I love Hootsuite is the wise guide. It's just a wealth of information. And if after you get everything set up and you still have some questions, you can always book a 30 minute call for free with them and they'll answer any questions that you may still have. Okay, so along the left-hand side, here's your main navigation, and that's gonna allow you to move seamlessly through your entire Hootsuite account. And that's anything from your streams to publishing content and creating analytic reports. And what you're looking at right here is your streams, and this is for my Twitter account. And it's basically how you organize your content and see upcoming content as well. And you can also log mentions, influencers, hashtags, basically anything social media related you can think of. So to show you how to connect a social media account manually, what I'm doing right now is just connecting my YouTube account really quickly to this new free account because all of my other social networks are connected to a different Hootsuite account. But I'm just doing this for the sake of demonstration to show you guys what it looks like once you've connected a social account. So again, you can add up to 10 streams within Hootsuite and integrate with a variety of apps from Dropbox to Google Drive and other analytic platforms like Google Analytics. And you can log your lists, like I said, your timeline, mentions, and those stream options vary depending on what social network you're working with at the moment. Um, but generally, they allow you to see the entire back end of your social network, which is fantastic. So where I am right now within the publisher is basically the hub of your content within Hootsuite. So you can see drafts that you have scheduled to come up and be published on a certain social network. You can also see your past scheduled posts, so you're not duplicating content too often. And if you're working on a team, you can also see posts that require approval, or have expired and you can just toggle easily through certain days, weeks, and months of the year to make sure that your content strategy is always on point. Now the bonus settings are really great within Hootsuite because you can set up your account and any additional details that you may need and any preferences like 
when you want to post if you're going to be using the auto scheduler. You can also customize your notification settings and your vanity URLs. If you ever wanted to upgrade your account too, you can also do that through your account settings. The reports are one of my favorite parts of Hootsuite because you can get away with a lot of information on a free account. There are a certain number of reports where you'll have to upgrade your account if you want to be able to access them, but the free reports give you all the insight that you need and they're super easy to create and customize. So again, you can just see that I'm working through all of these different styles of reports and the information they give you. This is great if you're like me and you're a social media manager who is working with clients. If you create Hootsuite accounts for your clients, you can actually just go in here and really quickly and easily create reports and deliver it right to them. And again, that team aspect that I was touching on before, if you are on a team and you add team members to Hootsuite, it's really easy to assign certain projects and tasks to people. And bonus, whether you're on a team or not, you can create all of your social media campaigns, that's advertising campaigns, within Hootsuite. So it's really great to not have to bounce around from network to network creating different advertising campaigns when you can just do it from one place. And Hootsuite will integrate with your social network so you can see who's following you, who you're following. And this is really great for Twitter because Hootsuite also organizes your lists in there. So you can really simply just drag and drop different contexts into different lists and then access them in one place. Hootsuite also integrates with a lot of great apps, some free, a lot of them paid, but they're all very affordable for around the $5 mark, and uh, they just add to the experience of being on Hootsuite, which is great. Hootsuite's tools are something that I've used personally, and I know a lot of other people in my niche have used too, and it's basically a database of educational resources, again, both free and paid, that just allow you to really get the most out of the app and uh, better understand how you can maximize your Hootsuite account and also just be a better social media manager even if that's not technically your profession. So I'm just going to show you guys an example of how you would schedule content and I'm just going to fill out this box and you can type whatever you want and Hootsuite will actually give you a countdown for how many characters you have left for Twitter and then we'll show you how many you've used for networks like Facebook and LinkedIn. You can also attach media like photos and videos. They do have to be under three megabytes though so make sure that you're compressing your files if they are on the large side. And then you can just select the time and date that you want to post it or you can have Hootsuite auto schedule it for you. You can also allow your location to be used for some social networks which is great for targeting. And where I clicked clear, you'll just click schedule and it will populate within your scheduled content stream. Which again, you'd see right there where it says scheduled. There's nothing there because I haven't scheduled anything, but that is where it would appear. Now these lists are the lists I was talking about before where I've organized my Twitter list so I can easily access influencers and other people in my niche that I want to keep in touch with regularly. And I can also log topics like my niche social media marketing to keep track of what's going on within my industry. So yeah, that is essentially how you use Hootsuite, how you set up your account, schedule content, and get the most out of it with the tools, analytics, and apps that it has to offer.
And there you have it. You are all set to start saving oodles of time scheduling your social media content in Hootsuite. And if you're ready to get started right away, make sure you click the link down below in the description box and download your content calendar template right now. And as always, if you like this video, please hit the like button below and share it with your friends. And if you're not already subscribed, please do because I put out new videos every single week. See you next time. Thank you.